Hello and welcome to the last GCSE Geography Help video on living in an active zone. Uh, so today we're going to be looking at reducing volcanic impact in MEDCs and LEDCs. So first, the emergency services. So these are the people that are going to come in and rescue any survivors from either volcanoes or earthquakes. And in MEDCs, it's very fast and very responsive and quick, whereas in LEDCs, they're not as fast. They don't have the technological advancement that MEDCs tend to have. Communication, again, it's more down to who has the best technology. Um, for example, here, landline and internet connection can spread news of a disaster very quickly, whereas in LEDCs, the remote parts generally don't have landlines or internet connections. And again, warning systems. MEDCs have high-tech warning systems, whereas LEDCs don't have the money to afford these high-tech warning systems. So again, they're at a disadvantage because they don't know when the eruption's going to happen. And then lastly, building design. Uh, in LEDCs, they don't have money to build big buildings. They just use what they have available to them. Whereas in MEDCs, we can go to research and say right we're going to do cross brace, we're going to do emergency stairwells and weights on the roof so this building survives earthquakes and there's stories of buildings like Taipei 101 which have survived numerous earthquakes while they were still being built um, and that's how much better MEDC building design is than LEDCs so that's all for the living and active zone topic see you later